Hey guys, it's Lena and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I am doing a keto haul, uh, just a bunch of stuff I've ordered online. I'm just going to get right into the video, but before I do that, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and the bell notification next to it so that you are notified when I upload new videos. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you feel so inclined to, com to comment down below, especially um, maybe give me some of your feedback on the items that I show here today in case you've tried them. Since most of the items I have yet to try, um, but the ones I have, I will give you my thoughts on them so far. But yeah, let's get into the video. The first thing that I've got is Zip Fizz. I have literally become obsessed with these. I have only tried six flavors and the last four I'm not too terribly excited to try simply because they're not flavors I normally like. So I'm going to get into, on Monday, I did the black cherry. Um, I put it in 16 ounces of water. The instructions say anywhere from 16 to 20 ounces. So I went minimum and it was way too tart for me and instead of putting more water in I just drank it as is but I did drink it all um, but lesson learned the next day I did berry and I put 16.9 ounces so basically I just shoved an entire bottle of water into a shaker cup and drank this this one was delicious uh, so I have decided all of my Zip Fizz, I'm going to do 16.9 ounces because that just seems like the magic number for me. Um, the next one was Pink Lemonade, which I loved. And this one was tart, but I was expecting it to be tart. That's how I like my Pink Lemonade. So it was the perfect tartness. So that was good. This was one of my favorites. Um, and then on Thursday yeah Thursday I did the I don't know if you can read that uh, blueberry raspberry I was not expecting to like this because the only way I typically like blueberry is in a muffin or pancakes or other baked goods but I surprisingly love this one it might actually be my most favorite of all of them so far but it's definitely a keeper. And then on Friday, yesterday, I had the Fruit Punch, which, oh, this one is really good. It definitely tastes like Fruit Punch. My, I had my daughter try it and she hated it, but that's just because she hates Fruit Punch in general. Um, but yeah, this one was a good one. And then today, I had myself the Orange Cream, which I wasn't looking forward to drinking because I'm, I'm not usually a person that likes orange unless it's in orange juice, but I was pleasantly surprised at the fact that this tasted exactly like a creamsicle, so I was very happy with that one. Now the rest of these are still in their little plastic wrap if you can tell. I have not tried them yet. Um, I'm just going to tell you in order of what I'm going to try them. Orange soda which I'm not really uh, looking forward to. I assume it's going to taste a little bit like a Fanta, which has never been something I enjoyed. So yeah, this one's tomorrow. I'm just going to get it over with and drink it. <laughs> and then I think I'll do citrus next. So I'm guessing like a lemon lime or just a lemon. I'm hoping it tastes more like lemonade instead of just plain old lemon. And then grape. While I love grape jelly and grapes in general, grape flavored things don't really appeal to me. So I'm not looking forward to it, but I am definitely going to try it and I will give you my thoughts. I'll probably put my thoughts on these three flavors on the screen here. However, this one right here, the pink grapefruit, I will not be trying. I absolutely hate grapefruit. So this is not one that I even remotely want to try at all. Um, I'm actually putting together a gift box or whatever for a giveaway in the future. Um, 
I don't have the specifics on the giveaway yet because of the fact that I want to hit at least, I want to say 50 or 100 subscribers before I have the giveaway. So if you want me to do a giveaway, don't forget to share this video or, you know, whatever. Try and get me some subscribers so that I can have a giveaway. And this would be one of the items in there. So that's my zip fizz. Um, the next thing I got was porking, pork king good pork rind crumbs. I want to do like chicken nuggets or something like that. So I went ahead and got this in just original. Now I'm going to admit I am not a pork rind person at all. I can't stand them. The other day I tried to do nachos with pork rinds and it just, it was not appealing to me at all. But I'm hoping I can make this as a breadcrumb, maybe mixed with some Parmesan cheese, taste good. Fingers crossed. Thank you. Okay, so then the next thing I have is I got some stuff from Perfect Keto because, you know, everybody and their mother talks about how amazing Perfect Keto is. So I went ahead and got the chocolate chip cookie dough, one of my favorite flavors in general and the keto collagen chocolate which um i'm hoping i can replace my quest protein shakes with this because i definitely need some more collagen in my life so i'm going to try this out but i just went ahead and got like the small sample box so that i wasn't committed to a large uh canister if it turned out i didn't like it or it didn't react to my body well and then, of course, the, like I said, the, I open this, the chocolate chip cookie dough keto bar that I literally have not found a single person on YouTube. Maybe I just haven't watched them, but I haven't found a single person on YouTube that dislikes these. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. Um, I will also leave information here on the screen on what my thoughts were for this one and for this one okay then um it's not food related but this has been talked about so many times in almost every video i watch and so i decided i was going to bite the bullet and buy me a cookbook i cannot wait to try a bunch of these things i was actually going to make Oh, what was it? Sloppy Joe the other night, but I just was not feeling good and I decided I just didn't want to spend any time in the kitchen, so I just... I'm not even sure what I ate. Hmm. I think I had some real good food uh, pizza bites, which I guess I could add that to this little haul. They were good. They weren't something I would crave necessarily but if they're in my freezer and I'm too lazy to cook I'll eat them they were pretty decent so there's that um then I got myself a keto brick so let's get rid of that information don't need that Got myself a keto brick and cinnamon crunch because that was literally the only one available on the website that was a single bar and i don't want to buy a bunch of them if i don't like them so i got cinnamon crunch i'm waiting for like cookies and cream and chocolate and i don't know what other flavors but i'm not going to eat this as a real uh english 101 a meal replacement because that's just too much for me so what I'm going to do is, and I, I think it was Christy Davis on YouTube. She melts them down and put them into little, uh, molds that are about the size of peanut butter cups and she uses them as fat on. So I'm going to do that too. I went ahead and bought the silicone mold to do that. So again, I will have information the screen here. Um, I will also probably have pictures of everything as I try them with my thoughts on my Instagram page. So 
Um, I will put my Instagram handle on the screen as well as it's in the description box, but it is at Lena Renee blog. So you can always check that out there. They also send this band. It's uh, a little too small for my wrist, but I'll probably give it to my son or my daughter. They both have very small wrists. And then just their, oh, is that a sticker? Ah, sticker, I love stickers. If you watch my planning type videos, oh, maybe it's not, I don't know. Anyways, if you watch my planning type video, then you know that I am a stickeraholic, if that's a word. If it's not, I've just made it a word. Okay, so the next thing is I ordered um, a keto crate and I went ahead and shopped at the store from, I think, September and August boxes. And so I got me some items out of that. I'm excited about these. The first thing, which I really, really want to love, is the Catalina Crunch Zero Sugar Food Company Ditch Sugar Cinnamon Toast Artisan Cereal. Um, I'm hoping this tastes a little bit like Golden Grahams because I really, really miss Golden Grahams. They were delicious. But I will also leave my thoughts on this one as well. I am seriously looking forward to this. And I just want to explain why I'm not doing a taste test today. Uh, first of all, I am not feeling well. My stomach is in knots. I just don't want to eat anything at the moment but yet my mind wants to eat all the things. <laughs> but I'm just not feeling well. I don't want to do a taste test and then risk going over my macros. Not only that, when I am feeling unwell or just really crummy, I want to eat all the things. And if I even taste test these things, I'm probably going to end up eating them all. And I don't want to do that. I don't really have a whole lot of self-control in that aspect. Okay, so I have four more items that I picked up. I got the IQ bar in lemon blueberry. Um, I'm not sure I've heard much about this on YouTube or anything yet, but I like the idea of lemon blueberry and if it's a baked good, I should like it in theory, in theory. Um, but let's see here. It is 170 calories, 10 grams of fat. Um, total carbs is 17 grams, nine fiber. So, I can't math apparently. Four net carbs, it says on the front, Lena. Yeah, four net carbs. So I'm looking forward to trying this and see what I think. Um, I am an incredibly picky eater, so if I say that I don't like something, that does not necessarily mean that it's bad. It just means that my picky brain said no. So look forward to that. And then I got the Yellow Cake Choco Rite protein bar. I used to eat the Choco Rite uh, milk chocolate bars when uh, my local Walgreens sold them in the diabetic section but then they stopped and I just stopped getting them. But this bar is seriously deformed. I just, I hope it tastes good. I really do, but it feels like it's going to be typical protein bar texture and I really hate that. So, well, wish me luck on this one. Okay. Then, this one I've been very excited to try. I keep seeing them in videos and everybody talks about how great they are. They're very cake-like. And I got raspberry lemon, so I really, really hope this one tastes good. But there it is. Yum, I hope. And then chocolate nut butter, which I'm so glad my daughter's not home right now because every Every single time, without fail, every time I say the words nut butter, she freaks out and starts laughing. I tell her to grow up, but I kind of do the same thing a lot, so I guess I can't really tell her to grow up too much. So I'm looking forward to this. I didn't actually check to see what kind of nuts. Oh, 
Okay, I guess it's blanched almonds, macadamia nuts, cocoa butter, MCT oil, erythritol, cocoa powder, salt, cinnamon, and stevia. That sounds like it might be pretty good. I'm looking forward to that. Okay, so next thing I have is, I'm just gonna put this whole box here. Yep, you can't see that. Okay, next thing I got is the, wow, there's no name there. The Magic Spoon cereals. I got all four, so I'll pull them out. I got, Okay, I kind of put everything up here and now they're in the way. Okay, so there's a bright light there. Okay, so Magic Spoon. I got it in cocoa. Which, okay, so what I've heard is that the cocoa tastes similar to Cocoa Pebbles or Cocoa Puffs, which weren't my favorite cereals growing up, but I'm definitely here for chocolate. I am always down for chocolate. Then we have Frosted Cereal. Um, from what I've heard, it's similar to Frosted Flakes, which I did love as a child. And then we have the cinnamon, which is similar to Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I'm definitely okay with that. And then I got Fruity, which I guess is like Fruity Pebbles. And eh, not my favorite, but I will definitely try them. And of course, leave my thoughts down below or on the screen. Um, then, not food related, necessarily it's not exactly keto related and i'm dropping things over here um but i will be using it for keto i have become obsessed with chocolates so i decided to get myself the dash no mess ah, no what no mass waffle maker so that i can make bulk chocolates make four of them at a time and freeze them for on days that I'm lazy and don't really want to cook, which let's face it, is almost every day. Okay. Um, I actually have a couple other things that I wanted to show you guys. And I will be right back. Okay, so I am back. And this is from Thin Slim Foods. I went ahead and bought a sampler pack on their website so I could try out all the things and see what I like and what I think of the product. So the one thing that I actually went to the website for was the Zero Net Carb Bread. Sure, oh, sorry, I forgot to add something in here. Sure, I like doing things bunless and breadless at times, but every once in a while I just really really want some bread so i'm very excited to try this very excited um i've had some bad things like it tastes like you're eating cardboard and other people say it tastes just like bread so i will leave my thoughts below and then this i love me some pasta um i do and this is not from thin slim i actually get this at um one of my local grocery stores I actually use the arugula edamame mung bean uh, spaghetti. I use this for stir fry spaghetti, um, Alfredo, and it's not amazing, but it's definitely good enough. And so I have been eating this for a while now. I mean, I, I like it. It it's not. I, I don't crave the specific flavor of this, but. It helps me eat the things that I want without, you know, trying to eat what my family is eating because they are not here. So definitely if you can find some zero rudel, give them a try. They're really not that bad. And I have them at least once a week, maybe, if not more. However, this, because that actually doesn't taste good as a macaroni and cheese substitute, I decided I wanted to try this so that I can 
potentially have macaroni and cheese when my family is eating it so that I'm not tempted to eat theirs. I'm hoping it's good. I mean, it's kind of expensive, but if I only have macaroni and cheese every once in a while, it might actually be kind of worth it. So, especially if it keeps me away from the good stuff. So there's that. And then Italian style dressing. I don't eat salads and I absolutely can't stand uh, salad dressing. So this is actually going to go into the giveaway that I talked about when I did the zip fizz. So expect this and the zip fizz so far to be in the giveaway. Then we have these low carb biscuits. I'm really looking forward to them. I'm trying to perfect my uh, sausage gravy recipe. I haven't found it to be exactly the way I want it to be yet, but when I do, these biscuits are going to rock, hopefully. I hope. I know I can't say that they're going to be good until I actually try them, but I have high hopes. I really do. And then we have cloud cakes. Um, I'm assuming that these are kind of like um, cloud buns that you make from egg whites and stuff. That's just my assumption because of the name cloud. But the ingredients are water as the number one ingredient, fiber blend, um, coconut flour, oat flour, or oat fiber and corn fiber, erythritol egg whites, isolated whey protein, olive oil spices, baking soda, xanthan gum, cocoa, natural flavoring, stevia. So these I'm actually looking forward to. They kind of remind me of little tiny chocolate cupcakes. So fingers crossed those are good. <laughs> brownie i miss 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 brownie these are only two net carbs which i forgot to say what everything else is the bread is zero the cloud cakes are zero the pasta is 44 minus 36 so eight grams of carbs per serving that's fine i'm fine with that because uh, it'll be for a nice dinner and i'll just make sure i have lower carbs throughout the rest of the day and then these are about one and a half grams of carbs for all three of them. Okay, so then we have almond squares, which I may or may not eat, but I'm not gonna put this in the giveaway because these um, are supposed to be either refrigerated or frozen. And I'm not gonna risk sending that in the mail to somebody because yeah, I'm just not that kind of person. Um, so they are two net grams of carbs and I'm guessing that there are chunks of almonds in there. If there's no chunks of almonds, I'll probably try it, but I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not a huge almond fan. I'm not really a nut fan in general, except for peanut butter, but I am trying to step out of my comfort zone and try new things. I might try this one. Um, then we have caramel cookie, two net carbs. Uh, this one sounds really good. I'm Definitely looking forward to this one. I love caramel and I love cookies. That's what led me to being a diabetic, actually. My love of all things baked. So then we have blueberry muffins. These are also two net grams of carbs. Um, can't really see into the package. I don't see any actual blueberries, but they could be in there. They might've just fallen to the bottom for all I know. But I'm looking forward to having that I love me some blueberry muffins. Um, 